Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well here's another basics video. In our last video we showed you how to create your first page and also how to set your page as the home page. In this video today we're going to show you how to create your first menu. What you're looking at up there is a sort of higgledy piggledy list of all the pages that I've created on this little test site here. If I go over to the pages, to get to pages, go to your dashboard and then down to pages here. We've got various pages here. Any of the ones that I've actually published, for instance, you see draft by some of them, that means they're not published. But any ones without that are published. So what we're seeing here are all the published pages that I've got there. It's sort of automatically added them. So we want to create our own. Now Divi comes with a primary menu which we're looking at here with your logo in it and also a secondary menu that you can add another menu to and we'll cover that in another video. So let's get started. Now the first thing you want to be aware of is you can only use pages or add pages to the menu that are published and not drafts. I've got one here that's a draft that I want to add to the menu. So rather than edit the page and publish it I can go into the quick edit button just down below that allows you to make a few adjustments without having to edit the page and over here we can change it from a draft page to a published page. Simply hit the update and now that one's actually published. So let's create our first menu. To do that go down to appearance and over to menus just down here and it's going to prompt you to create your first menu. So we need to give it a name. I'm just going to call mine top Obviously give yours whatever name you wish. It wants to make, make some sense to you though. If you want it to automatically add new pages you can check these. And it's going to be in our primary menu as we mentioned before. We're not using a secondary menu or a footer menu at the moment. We'll be doing videos on those in the future. Okay so we've given it a name. I don't want to automatically add new top level pages because I might decide to put them in other places. But if you do go ahead and check that. Once you're happy create the menu. And there it is. And now we can start adding our pages. So here's a list of all the published pages. Remember I said the drafts won't show up here. So I want home, about, services and contact. So I've put a check mark in each of those. I'm going to add them to the menu. And there they are right there. Now those are in a completely the wrong order and it's going to go from top to bottom, top being left, bottom being right. So I really want my home, about services, all the other way around. To move these around, just simply put your mouse over it, left click and drag it. And let go of your mouse button when you've got it where you want it. To create sub-menu items, really easy. If you wanted that services to be a sub-page of the about, all you do is grab it again, left click and hold pull it slightly to the right and as you can see there it'll become a sub item but I don't want that today so I'm going to do the opposite just pull it to the left and it's a regular one again now at the moment these are just the most recent pages if you're not seeing something there and you know it's published hit the view all and it'll give you all of your published pages there or you can do a search with this one over here now a little tip up here if you're using things like WooCommerce and other things like that. If you go up to the screen options, it's a bunch of check boxes showing you what it's going to show down there. If you're if you're wanting to add a project category or a project, then just simply check those boxes and those options will appear down here for you. This is especially important with WooCommerce. If you want to go up here and make sure that your WooCommerce categories are selected if you want to do a link to a category page there. So let's close that up. And we'll just quickly go over these other ones here. Posts, obviously you can add a post to the menu if you want to add one of your posts. I've only got the one, the generic one there. I really don't want to add it. Custom links, these are so useful. You can link to anything with custom links. Off your website, to other pages on your website or certain places on your website if you want to. And to put in a custom link, link simply get the URL that you want and put it in there. I'm just putting a hashtag because I haven't got a real URL. Put what you want the link to actually say, which is the home about services contact that you see there in here. And you can have it say anything you want. 
So I'll just say custom so that we know this is the custom link in the menu. Obviously, you're going to want to make yours more specific. And just the same, add it to the menu and locate it where you want. I'm going to put mine under services. Or for a bit of fun to demonstrate, let's make it a sub item of services. There we go. So we made it a custom item. Now we've got categories down below, but that's your post categories, not WooCommerce categories if you've got that installed. At the moment, I really haven't got any, but if you had categories and wanted to add those to those, they'd appear here. Just check them and add them to the menu. Okay. Well, we told it what we want. We've told it where we want it to be. So let's save it. Hit the save menu button down the bottom there. It says it's updated there. Let's go back to our page here and we'll refresh. And there's our new menu there. Home about service and contact us. And as you can see, we've got a drop down for the custom there. So there you go, guys. That's how to create your first menu with the Divi theme. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.